heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Welcome to virtual worship services here at Clear Creek Missionary Baptist Church, a river of faith ministry that overflows with blessings to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We're located off of Highway 6 West at 35 County Road 313 in Oxford, Mississippi, under the dynamic leadership of Senior Pastor David Anderson. As the spring is upon us, the weather is warming, we want to encourage you more now than ever to continue practicing COVID protocols by wearing your mask, socially distancing from others, washing your hands, and when it's your turn, get vaccinated. Clear Creek Virtual Worship Services are broadcast every Sunday at 10.45 a.m. from our sanctuary and are viewable and accessible through the church's website at www.clearcreekmbc.org. You can also tune in with us every Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. on WOXD 95.5 FM radio. Join us every Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. for our morning prayer call and every Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. for our Zoom Bible study, both led and conducted by Pastor Anderson. For meeting IDs and passcodes, check out our website. Remember to connect and subscribe with us on all of our social media platforms, which includes the church's website at www.clearcreekmbc.org, our Instagram, YouTube page, and Facebook page. On behalf of Pastor Anderson, Lady Anderson, and the Creek family, thank you for joining us for today's worship services. Well, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made and the Bible declares that we ought to rejoice and be glad in it. Come on, we're so glad to have you here this morning with us worshiping at the creek. Uh, so if you're just tuning in even now, come on, do me a favor, hit that share button, let everybody know that worship is going on right now. Oh, what a day of rejoicing this is as we think about all that the Lord has done for us. Now, I do have one question as you are tuning in. And come on again, if you're on Facebook, hit that share button and hit those hearts and hit those likes. But here's the question I have for you this morning. Come on, has the Lord done something for you that nobody else could do even if they tried? Come on, you ought to celebrate virtually even now. Come on, hit those hearts, hit those likes. Come on, share, subscribe to me on YouTube. Come on and testify that the Lord is good. Come on, I said again that the Lord is good. One of the things we used to say in church all the time, come on, we'll say the Lord is good. And everybody would say all the time and all the time, the Lord is good. Come on, if God has blessed you in any way this morning, as we go up in worship, as we give God praise again, come on, let's celebrate God uh, for all that he has done for us this day. Well, again, we're excited to have you at the Creek this week, and we're about to go into singing. And I pray that you don't let our praise and worship team sing by themselves, but come on and give God the best praise right in your living room, right in your bedroom, right wherever you are, in your car, on your job. Listen, come on, let's give God the best praise. Come on, if you need prayer this morning, we also want to encourage you to, to text prayer uh, right there at 662-314-6460. Come on, we look forward to praying with you this morning. Let's go into worship even now.
Good morning, Clear Creek family. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have now come to our moment of devotion, and we would like to go to the scriptures. The scripture that we'll be coming from this morning will be Psalms 111, verses 1 through 3. And the scripture reads, I will extol the Lord with all my heart in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds and his righteousness endures forever. I have read to you Psalms 111 verses one through three. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers and doers of his most holy word. Now we have come to our moment of prayer. If you have any requests that you would like to bring forth to the Lord, we would invite you now to send those prayer requests to 662-314-6460. That is 662-314-6460. Let us go before God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you on this morning. We want to tell you thank you for waking us up and for keeping us safe and clothed in our right minds, Lord God. We thank you for allowing everything to be in its rightful place once we woke up this morning. God, we thank you that we were able to experience your grace and mercy once again. Lord God, we thank you that you have kept us all the way from last year to this point, Lord God, through a pandemic that was uncertain, Lord God, and you have kept us safe from danger seen and unseen, from sickness and from every element that can cause harm. We thank you, Lord God, for just providing for us. God, we thank you for protecting us. God, we thank you that we know that our families are intact and that you have kept us in our right mind and that you have allowed us to have the activities of our limbs. God, we thank you even for the things that we take for granted. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you that you have given us another day to, to experience your grace and mercy and to start all over again and have a fresh start with you, Lord God. God, we thank you for the Creek family. We thank you that you have allowed us to serve and to worship you one more time. God, even though we're not gathered together, Lord God, we know that we are still intact and that we are still worshiping as one in the community. And we thank you, Lord God, for all that you have done for our families, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor. We thank you for Pastor Anderson and for his leadership, Lord. We just ask that you strengthen him and that you would guide him as he continues to be the shepherd of this congregation, Lord God. We ask that you would give him a mighty word on today that would go forth, Lord, that you would be glorified in everything that he does, Lord God. God, give him the wisdom to feed his flock, Lord God, to feed your people, Lord God. We just thank you for everything that you have done in the past, everything that you're doing right now, and even the things that you're gonna do in the years to come. We claim it now that you're gonna bless us. We claim your victory. We cl claim everything that you are going to do, Lord God, even in the things that we don't ask. You already know that you're going to do it. God, we know that you are a God who can heal, who can deliver, who can set free. So we believe right now that you're gonna do it. And it is so, Lord God. We claim it right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing bodies. We thank you for keeping our loved ones safe, Lord God. And at the end of it all, we just praise you and we glorify you for the great things you have done. God, we thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. God, we thank you for the exceeding and abundant that you have done in all of our lives. We thank you. We glorify you. We send up a hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you have done. And it's in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Come on, if you're watching right now, come on, take a minute, take a pause. We about to take a praise break right now. Come on, I said if God has blessed you, if God has kept you, if God has set you free, and if you are breathing. Come on, let's do a test this morning. I want you to do it with me wherever you are, Facebook, YouTube, the website, in your bedroom, living room, car, or on your job, whether you're watching on your phone, your laptop, or, or, or even your iPad. Come on, let's do something right quick. Come on, let's inhale. 
Come on, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Come on, let's exhale. Come on, if you were able to do that this morning, the Bible says this, you had breath in your body. And the Bible says, let everything, come on, let me say it again. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And if that was you and you were able to do that this morning, come on and celebrate virtually. Come on and celebrate reality. Come on, celebrate wherever you are, that God is worthy to be praised. Come on, if you're tuning in even now, we're so glad to have you this week at the Creek. And we wanna tell everybody, so hit that share button let everybody know that we are live this Sunday. Well, a part of our worship as we continue on giving God praise, uh, a part of worship is giving. And we are thankful each week uh, for your faithful giving. We are able, honestly, reality to continue to be able to share the gospel uh, through um, a virtual uh, lens uh, through all of the social media outlets because of your faithful giving. We are literally reaching the world. When we do our prayer texts, we're getting people calling in from everywhere. We're getting people watching from everywhere and we're thankful because of your giving. But here's the great thing. Not only is your giving uh, uh, allowing us to continue to share the gospel of Jesus Christ, but we're able to reach out to our local community to continue to encourage our children, to continue to feed those who are hungry, continue to clothe those who uh, do not have. And we're thankful just uh, for all of what you give to be able to help organizations all across Oxford and the surrounding area continue to do what they do because of your faithful giving. So we're thankful even now. Here's what the Bible uh, declares. It says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. Come on, so we need even now uh, for you to consider if you've never given before. Let me challenge you. If you've never given before and you watch us week in and week out, come on, help us continue to reach people for the kingdom. Come on, if you are faithful giving, come on, let's continue to do so as we honor God even now. Let's pray. God, we thank you for every giver. We thank you for how we're able to uh, continue to sow into the kingdom. Uh, God, thank you for, first of all, blessing us, for giving us increase. And I pray even now that, God, you will bless each giver, that, God, you will give them what your word declares, a seeding abundantly, more than we can ask or think. As we thank you for the work that is going on in this church and for all of how you're allowing us to, uh, God, to make change and impact in this world. We love you. We thank you. We bless your name. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, listen, there are several ways you can give this day. Uh, come on. You can go to our website at clearcreekmbc.org. You can hit that giving tab. And if you hit that giving tab, it will take you to our PayPal account where you can give safely and securely. Maybe you have your mobile device in your hand or you're watching on um, uh, uh, even an iPad or a tablet this morning, maybe even your laptop, and you would love to give as well. You can give also uh, with our cash app, dollar sign, the Creek MBC. Again, dollar sign, the Creek MBC. We would ask that you put your name, address. We would love uh, to be able to be accountable uh, for uh, your record of giving and uh, would love to continue to share the great things that God is doing. So you can give uh, on the cash app, uh, dollar sign, the Creek MBC uh, right there on the cash app. But then finally, if you would just love to mail in uh, your gift, uh, you can also do so at Clear Creek uh, MBC, a post office box, uh, 1091 Oxford, Mississippi 38655. Listen, you'll see those giving options at the bottom of your screen. As we continue to go forth in worship, we pray that God um, is, is blessing you as you are blessing the kingdom to continue to reach uh, people for Jesus Christ as we continue to make his name great. I continue to do the work that God has for us. God bless you this Sunday. Listen, we're about to go into worship even now, about to sing and give God praise. Uh, again, you can still give and share, share, share. Let everybody know uh, that we are in worship even now. God bless you. Come on, let's worship God together even now.
even now hit that share button let everybody know that we are live and the word is about to go forth I wanted to bring you in this space so we can have an intimate conversation uh, as we continue on in our series let me introduce myself uh, looking at the I am statements of Jesus Christ um, so again you can hit that share button and also anytime during this broadcast you can you can also text uh, if you need prayer uh, 662-31 four six four six zero you can see that number at the bottom of the screen let's pray even now as we go uh, into the word of God this day God we thank you for this time together and we pray that our time of uh, word of God will be impactful for some it is a reminder for others God it is encouragement for others it's a revelation uh, the God that will give them strength to continue to go on to see what the end is going to be and we pray to God you'll be with us. So God, speak right now to somebody who may need a word from you will find that word. Somebody need encouragement will find that encouragement. For somebody that needs strength will find that strength to keep on pressing even in the midst of troubling times. And God, we praise you. We thank you. We love you even now. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Again, we are continuing on in this series. Let me introduce myself, the I am statements of Jesus Christ. So I want to just kind of uh, practically this day, practically. So I'm, I'm going to uh, bring up a John chapter 8, John chapter 8, uh, verse 12. And then I'm going to segue over to Mark chapter 4, uh, verse 35 through 41. And so I want to kind of practically uh, show you how Jesus Christ uh, is the light of the world and how he can guide us even in seasons like this. Well, John chapter 8, verse 12 says this. I'm going to read uh, two translations for you, and then we'll jump over to uh, Mark uh, chapter 4. Uh, and so here, here's what John chapter 8 says. John chapter 8 says this um, in the uh, New Living Translation. It says this. He says, Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. But then the message translation says it like this. Jesus once again addressed them, and he said, I am the world's light. No one who follows me stumbles in the darkness. I provide plenty of light 
to live in. Now let's jump over and see how this is very practical. Uh, I believe this is a practical way right here in Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. It says, one day when evening had come, he said to them, let us go across to the other side and leaving the crowd, uh, he they took with them in the boat, um, and 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 uh, and just as he uh, was, uh, the Bible says, and the other boats were with him, and, and great and a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, and so that boat was already filling, but he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they awoke him and said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? I, just for a little while, a little while only, I want to talk to your hearts on this particular subject. Uh, turn on the lights because it's dark in here. It, it's dark in here. Turn on the lights because it's dark in here. My brothers and sisters, I couldn't help uh, but think back uh, this, this past week. Uh, my wife called me in the office uh, to tell me uh, that the lights had gone off at the house. Lights had gone off at the house, and, 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 and until they could work on the lights, uh, uh, my son, my wife was telling me, uh, went to get a new toy uh, that his grandparents had bought for him. He, he bought this little owl toy that had shining lights that come out the eyes, and the body of that light would illuminate the room. Uh, it was amazing to see such a small toy uh, could illuminate the room in such a way, so much power coming out of that light that in the midst of darkness, when the darkness started to come, my son went to get some light. And I thought we could learn some, some powerful lessons uh, from my son, my eight-year-old son, DJ, because he understood that when darkness came, when the lights went out, when it seemed as if darkness was all over the house, he knew to go to the source to get the light. And that's simplistically all I want to tell us this day. Jesus is simply saying, I am the light of the world. And I like the way he concludes that in the message Bible where he says, listen, he says, I, I want you to know that when you choose me, you won't stumble around in the darkness, but you'll have plenty of light to live your life. And I, I wanted to really talk about ways that we can practically be guided by God, even in the midst of dark seasons, because here's where I want to hang my hat. When it gets dark, do not fear. Jesus is the light of the world and he will light your path. He will light your life and he will guide you even in the midst of the storm. Now, that's the reason why I pulled in Mark chapter four, because I felt like this was a great segue for us to really practically look how God can guide us, lead us and display his power even in the midst of the storm. And so I want to show you a couple of points and now I'll soon let you go, but I want to tell you again, you ought to type in the caption right now. Listen, the reality is when it's dark, Jesus will light my life. Listen, if we're going to observe this particular text in Mark chapter 4, uh, this segue to Mark chapter 4, I, I really want you to look at the reality. Number one is that we have to remember, if we're going to allow Jesus to light our lives, we have to always remember what he said. We have to remember what he said, because when you really look here, the Bible says that trouble arose quickly. Trouble came out of nowhere. A crisis appeared. A, a storm came. Uh, but, 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 but I want you to know in life, even uh, when you're walking with Christ, the Bible is clear that storms can arise. You do see the text. The Bible says right there uh, in, in, in verse 38 uh, there that Jesus was asleep on the back of the boat. However, even while Jesus was with them, even while Jesus was present with them, while they were in the presence of the Lord, a storm still arose. And I just want to tell somebody, listen, you can be in the very presence of God, doing the assignment of God, and I want to guarantee you that trouble can still come. And it can come suddenly. You can, again, let me tell somebody, just in case you feel discouraged, as if your life is going down a, a 
downward spiral as if you are in the wrong place. If you are getting discouraged in this walk as if the Lord has left you, let me encourage you this one thing. Listen, again, you can be in the very presence of God on the assignment of God and still experience a storm. Listen, they had already gotten an assignment from the Lord. He says, listen, we're going over to the other side and yet Jesus is with them and the Bible is clear that yet and still they experience a storm. But if we're going to trust Jesus to be the light of our lives and to guard our life, this is something I want to encourage you. You got to remember what he said. You got to remember what God already says because that's what he says. He says, listen, he says, I, I, I'm telling you in verse 35, he says, let us go across to the other side. He says it already that even though a storm has arisen, even though a storm has come up, he's already made a promise that they're going to get to the other side. In the midst of the storms, in the midst of the challenges, you've got to remember what God has already said to you because, listen, when you get in the storm and when you face the storm, you will be tempted to quit. You'll be tempted to think it's not going to happen. You'll be tempted to think think that I got to turn around or you'll be tempted to think that God has forsaken me. But I want you to remember what God originally told you. If he said you're going to be healed and you're going to be healed. If he said you're coming out, you're going to come out. If God says that you're going to make it, you're going to make it no matter what you are faced with right now. Well, when I thought about that, I, I couldn't help but think back. Uh, now I, I'm trying to uh, trying to get back in shape after this pandemic weight uh, has come on me. You know, we've been locked in and we been eating a lot and I don't know about y'all but I put on some extra pounds and lately I've been trying to walk and run at the park to to really get this weight off but listen sometimes 15 minutes into my run 15 minutes into my walk I'm tempted to throw in the towel I'm tempted to go back and turn around and get in the car my legs start hurting my feet start hurting I'm breathing too hard I'm, I'm tired I'm saying you know I don't need to walk the rest of these miles I, I, I gotta throw in the towel but just then as I'm about to give up a song comes on a upbeat song a pumped up song comes on and it gives me a little strength to keep on going while I'm on and you know what I do when I find a song that gives me the pump of energy to keep on running I do something on my phone when I have my my airpods in I hit the replay button there's a setting that that I hit the button that, that listen when that song goes off I want it to automatically come on again because it is that song that has given me strength to keep on pressing it is that song that has given me the strength to keep on going it is that song that has given me the pump of power Power, that when I seem like I'm facing the wall, I can press on through because I've got something that's pumping me up. That's all I want to tell somebody. Listen, when you remember what he says, I want you to put it on replay. I want you to put it on replay and remind yourself that God is still working on your behalf. Remind yourself that I can count it all joy when I fall into trials and tribulations. Remind yourself that we are afflicted in every way, but we, we're not crushed we're perplexed but not but not driven to despair persecuted but not forsaken struck down but not destroyed remind yourself that listen the trouble doesn't last always put it on replay remind yourself that the Lord is my light and my salvation of whom shall I fear of whom shall I be afraid remind yourself and put it on replay that he will never leave me nor forsake me remind yourself and put it on replay that no weapon formed against me shall be able to prosper. Remind yourself and put it on replay that the Lord is the rock. He is my shield. He is the one that I can trust in. Remind yourself. Put it on display that in all thy ways I will acknowledge him and he shall direct my path. It Remind yourself and put it on display that God will wipe all tears from my eyes. Remind yourself and put it on display and remind yourself and put it on replay. Remind yourself and keep on going that listen, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. I'm just telling somebody, listen, if you're going to make it, put 
put it on replay. So get up in the morning and start declaring the promises of God. On the way to work, declare the promises of God. On the way to the bed, declare the promises on the God. Listen, declare the promises of God. Put it on replay. Remember what he has said. But here's the second thing. Not only do you need to remember what he has said, but you also need to remember what he has done. You need to remember what he's done. Listen, it's amazing uh, what Jesus is, is saying to them there. He says, listen, you, you, I, don't, I don't believe it, that, that you all are still filled with fear. There, there's still some, some fear that you have because I believe what Jesus is really looking at, that there ought to be a reminder that, listen, you've been walking with me some time. You've been with me some time, and, and, and there, there ought to be a realization that I have done some miracles before. And the reality is, if I've done some miracles before, you ought to be able to know that I can do some miracles again. That's why he says in verse 40, he says, he said, why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? I, I'm not sure. He says, I, I, I'm not sure that, it, 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 that, that you have the faith because I, I, we've been through some stuff before. You've seen me do some miracles before. You've seen me wait, make some ways before. And yet here we are in a situation where you are fearful. I need you to remember what I have done. And I believe in our lives, if we're going to make it, we're going to trust God's guidance. And we're going to trust God to be the light of our lives. We've got to remember that God has done some great things things before. Come on, I believe you can celebrate. Come on, if you're streaming live right now on Facebook or even YouTube, come on, you ought to put some things in that the Lord has done for you before. Come on, has he healed you before? Has he made a way before? Has he supplied your needs before? Come on, has he healed your family before? Has he kept your mind before? Come on, has he put you in a prosperous place? Has he given you increase? Has he delivered your soul? All of these things, we ought to testify that if God did it before I've got good news that God can do it again he can do it again he can do it again but so when I was thinking about that I can help can help but think back uh, to, to uh, this this past week recently uh, it's been we've been in a pandemic and, and I hadn't been to one of my favorite restaurants in literally a year it's been a whole year and I called uh, for a call in uh, pickup called in for a call in pickup and uh, very interesting I, I I picked up the phone and I began to make the order uh, for some of my, uh, two of my favorite foods. I, and before I could get my words out, the man on the phone says, ah, hey, I know what you want. He says, you want the shrimp fried rice and the fire roll sushi. I was blown away. He says, hey, he says, hey, I said, I said, how did you know this? He says, David, I know your voice. He says, I know you and I know what you want. I was blown away because it's been a whole year. It's been a whole year since I've called. It's been a whole year since I've ordered. It's been a whole year since I've purchased food there. And yet when he heard my voice, he knew what I wanted and knew what what I needed because he knew my voice. That's all I'm trying to tell somebody. Listen, God is telling somebody, listen, when you call me, listen, I want you to know that I already know what you need. I know what you want. I know how to put the situations back together in your life. You got to learn how to trust me. You got to learn how to walk with me. You have to learn how to call on me and know that even in the midst of the storm, if you remember what I've done before, call on me again and I will do do it for you again. It's a, I know your name. I know your voice and I will make a way even in the midst of a storm. Amazing. Now, so remember, remember what the Lord has said. Remember what the Lord has done. But then finally this, remember that the Lord can calm any storm. Remember that the Lord can calm any storm. That, that's the amazing part uh, when you really look at this text. Uh, the Bible is clear that, that Jesus the Christ, he, he rebukes the winds and the sea and the waves. It says, quiet down, quiet down. And, and, and the Bible declares the winds and the seas obey him. The winds and the seas obey him. And, 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 and even it's so miraculous that the men that are on there with him are shocked and awed. Even the Bible says fearful of who what the power that Jesus has. I want to tell you, listen, when Jesus makes a way, listen, when Jesus Jesus makes a way, it ought to be mind-blowing for us. This is the kind of blessing that I want from God. I want it to be mind-blowing. I want it to be overwhelming. I want it to be shocking. God, blow my mind with the miracles 
because God, you can calm any storm. You are a miracle worker. That's why the old songwriter said this. Listen, uh, the God that we serve, he can do what no other power, Holy Ghost power. Listen, no other power can do. We serve a God who specializes, as the songwriter says, in things impossible. And he can do what no other power can do. And that's what I thought about. Listen, when we submit our lives to God, number one, we've got to make sure when we want him to be the light of our life, the head of our life, one, we must desire him. We must desire him. That means, listen, I, I, I don't want anything else but God. I want God in my life. It's good to want relief, but I want God. It's good to want miracles, but I want God. It's good to want the, the blessing, but I want God because I believe if God goes for me, the favor of God, even if God doesn't move the situation, he'll give me strength to walk through it. I desire him. But then second of all, we said, we, I've got to listen to him. I've got to hear his voice. God will give me discernment in the midst. That's why he talks about being a guide, that, that he's the light of our life. He's the he's guiding us that, that listen, God has to have our attention because he needs us to look, listen to him. But then I want to look to him. I want to look to him. I want to believe that God will supply my needs. I want to I want to have a plan B. I want to have a plan C. I don't want to have a plan nothing. One, two, and three. I've got one plan, and that plan is to, to rely wholly on God Almighty. I'm going to look to him. And then here's another thing. I, I want to live for him. I want to live for him. And so when God gets through leading me, when God gets through blessing me, when God gives me the favor, I want to live for him. I want to trust him. I want to I want to live a life that honors him. I want to live a life that worship him. You ought to be in that number that says, I want to live for him. When I thought about this, I thought about this in conclusion. How do you know? How do you know sometime that God, how do you know that God will continue to make a way? How do you know that God will lead you and guide you? How, how can you trust him even uh, in the midst of dark storms? I, I'm reminded of the old Baptist story uh, about this little boy who was in a home, in a home with his family. Uh, and there he, uh, uh, a fire broke out in the house. Fire broke out in the house. Um, and uh, uh, everybody got out of the house except for the little boy who was upstairs playing games. Upstairs playing games, did not know that the fire uh, had taken over the house. He began to see smoke and smell smoke coming from under the door. And he tried to grab the doorknob, but the doorknob was too hot to grab. And, and the fire started coming in the room and, and seemingly the little boy was trapped upstairs in his room. Fire coming in the door, uh, uh, trapped in his room, fire coming in the door, now coming through the door, uh, fire. And the boy began to lift the window up, looking downstairs, not really knowing what to do. And just then he heard the voice of his father. His father says, son, he says, he says, son, I, 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 he said, dad, there's a fire up here. I, I, I can't see anything. And the fire's getting hot. He said, son, I need you to trust me today. He says, I'm going to ask you to do something. He says, I'm going to ask you to, to jump. He says, I'm going to ask you to jump. And I want you to know, son, that if you jump, I'll catch you when you fall. He said, daddy, he said, daddy, I, I, I don't know about that. I, all I see is smoke around me. And I'm afraid that if I jump, I will hurt myself and possibly kill myself. He says, daddy, he says, son, he says, son, I, I need you to listen to me. I need you to listen to me. He says, I'm going to ask you something to do. He says, I'm going to ask you to jump, son. And when you jump, I'll catch you when you fall. He says, Daddy, I don't know about that. I'm afraid the fire's coming in the room, and yet I can't see you. All I see is smoke, and the fire began to come in. He could feel the heat of the fire. He said, Daddy, the fire's coming. The son, the father said one more time, said, Son, I really need you to listen to me. I need you to trust me. He said, Son, I'm going to ask you to do something. I'm going to ask you to jump, and if when you jump, I want you to know that I will catch you when you fall. He one more time said, Daddy, I, I, I would love to, but Dad, I cannot see you. I cannot see you. All I can see is smoke and flames. He said, Son, I want you to know something, that even though you cannot see me, 
I can see you. And if you jump, I'll catch you when you fall. And that's all I want to tell somebody. Listen, God is saying this in our lives. If you trust me, if you trust me, I will catch you in the midst of situations. I will catch you in the midst of the fire. I will catch you in the midst of the storm. But you got to have faith enough to jump, to know that I'm going to walk in faith. That even though at times you cannot see God, even though at times you don't know where he is, even though at times you may feel like you're walking alone, God is saying, I can still see you. Hold on. Trust me. I'll catch you in the midst of the storm. He is our light. He is our guide. He is our guard. Jesus the Christ, he is the light of the world. And in a practical way, we see how Jesus Christ can guide us, guard us, and protect us, and be with us even in the midst of the storm. So I don't know about you this day. You, you may be watching. You may be streaming live. You may be streaming on Facebook. You may be streaming on YouTube. And you're saying, boy, I, I need to get to know that light. I need to get to know that one who can calm the sea. I need to get to know that one who can speak to storms. I need to get to know the one who can catch me uh, when I'm falling. Well, I want to invite you to accept Christ today. That may be you. And you don't know him as Lord and personal Savior. Or maybe you just need a church home. The creek is a great place. We would love to have you to be a part of us. Even now, you don't have to wait until we open the doors physically. But you can come even now. There's a number at the bottom of your screen, 662-314-6460. Uh, come on, you can text JOIN even now. And we will love uh, to have you to be a part of the creek. Or we will love to guide you uh, to a relationship with Jesus Christ. Maybe you need prayer. And you're just saying, I'm tired. I, I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated. I'm in the midst of the storm. And I feel like throwing in the towel. I feel like giving up. Don't give up. Come on, right now, hit that text. Come on, hit that text right now. Just come on, pull that phone out. It's in your hand. Go on and text it. Uh, listen, we would love to follow up with you this day to pray with you, to pray for you. 662-314-6460. That may be you here this day that need a touch from God. Come on, God is able to light up your life even in the midst of dark times that he will turn situations around for you. Let's pray even now. God, we thank you. That there may be people that are streaming right now all over uh, this area, all over this county, and then, God, all over the country. That, God, that even of the world, that may need a touch from you. And so, God, I pray right now that, God, you would lead them, that you would guide them only like you can. God, knock on their hearts. Uh, God, let them come crying, what must I do to be saved? Maybe somebody needs a touch from you, prayer, a rededication. Uh, God, move in their lives right now, only like you can. And we trust you, we love you, we bless you. It is in Jesus' name we pray, amen. So we are trusting you this day. We're trusting God this day that God will continue to do great things. And we're so glad to have you this week uh, at the creek. Uh, before uh, we hear our brethren uh, close out with a final number uh, this Sunday, I, I want to just make a few announcements before we conclude uh, this week as well. Uh, we'll continue to have our normal activities as well. Uh, there is our prayer call uh, every Wednesday morning uh, at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Go on and call that number. Write it down uh, even now. Uh, and you can uh, dial in at 7 a.m. Uh, there is uh, a word of exhortation and prayer uh, every day. Invite some friends. Come on, we want to fill the prayer room up uh, with prayer as well. And you can text your prayer request uh, even to uh, the number at the bottom of the screen as well. And then at 6.30 every week um, is our Zoom Bible study. So we want to fill the Zoom room. So invite some people. We have been really having a powerful time as we've been kicking off. Uh, every week at 6.30 and then we have a time of fellowship at the end of this when we get together and just wave and talk virtually uh, until we can gather again. But let me also say this, there's some exciting things coming up. 
So I want you to be uh, alert and aware of the news that will be coming up as well as it relates to Easter is coming, Resurrection Weekend. And listen, there at the bottom of the screen, the same number, uh, we are also going to be looking for some volunteers. Yes, you. Uh, listen, we'll be looking for some volunteers uh, that are going to help us uh, in some upcoming events. And so if you would love to volunteer, come on, take some, some, some physical part to help uh, move the creek forward uh, as it relates to Resurrection Weekend. And you can also text uh, and let us know. Listen, you just want to sign up and you can text HELP. Even now, HELP at 662-314-6460. Uh, HELP, HELP. Just text HELP at 662-314-6460. Uh, and we look forward uh, to seeing you soon. God bless you. God keep you. Come on, let's enjoy these brothers as they close out this Sunday.